In a previous video, I showed you what happens when you apply new configuration changes to a network device outside of NSO's control. In this video, I will discuss how you can configure network devices directly through NSO instead. And we'll start with core switch number one. And let's say that we want to configure all of the main interfaces based on the details listed in the network diagram. Now, of course, which has a lot of different interfaces. So we're going to be doing this actually in different parts, but it's a good place to start. OK, so first off, we need to confirm that all devices are in sync. That is a good place to start. So make sure that you're logged on to the CLI of the NSO console. And we can go into our configuration mode and we need to do a devices check sync. And they are. Next, to configure anything on a remote device on NSO, you need to make sure that you're in the configuration mode, just like with any Cisco network device. And we currently are there now. But to perform configuration changes to a specific device, like core switch number one in our case, then you need to do devices followed by the device and specifically we want to configure core switch number one and go under that configuration mode. And from there, if we do a question mark, just like Cisco CLI, this will show all available commands that we can use based on the NED package that is associated to that device. So let's configure the loopback interface that is going to be configured on that core switch. And you do that by doing any other configuration on a Cisco device. So this would be doing interface loopback zero and the IP address we want to configure on that interface for that device is reflected right here as 10.0.0.1 a slash 32. And you can also do a no shutdown here as well. Very basic commands. And that is it. Let's go to the very top here. Now those changes are only applied to the local configuration database for core switch one and not applied directly to that device. At this point, we can use a few commands to see these new changes that will be applied. If you want to view all outstanding or pending changes that are not yet committed or pushed up to the network device, then you can use the command show configuration. And that will show more or less what we typed in for that syntax. You can also get more specific. If you have configuration for multiple devices, then it will show a lot of information. So you can use another variation of that where I can say show configuration, but specifically look at the devices, but looking at the device of our core switch and it only will show you those details. Now, if you want to confirm if there will be any errors or issues when you commit these changes, then you can do a dry run. So I can say commit, but do a dry run just to check things out to see what will be applied. And this reflects all the pluses of what's going to be added to that remote device. Another variation of that command is viewing the actual config that will be sent to that remote device, which will give you a very similar output to something just like this. And that will be doing a commit dry run, but doing an out format native. So you can do that as well. Just want to show you different commands. But if you want to officially apply these changes, then we need to commit our changes. And with that change committed, if you are within the configuration mode right now on NSO, we can view the configuration for CS01 now. So there's many ways how we can do this. We can say something like, let's look at the full config for the device of CS01. And that's going to show everything for that configuration everything that has been synced to that particular device. So that will show all the details that we added earlier about the details of how to connect to that device so that doesn't change. But it will show all details of what has been synchronized from that device of however it is configured. And some of that is going to be that interface. Where is it? We just saw that a second ago for the loopback interface. There's also these other interfaces which are physically on that particular device. There's the default banner, so very basic stuff there. 